Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mosbo. And so, the past couple hours, days, whatever the case may be, you guys have been asking me the same, same question. How do we evolve Ruby Darius Miles? Like, his evolution stage seems very, very hard, very impossible. And y'all already know how it goes. Y'all wish is my command. I was doing other stuff, but I had to stop what I was doing, go out here, grind this, Get y'all Darius Miles, and we about to do this together. We about to take a look and see what's the best way possible to get this done. So first thing you got to do is go into your card evolution. We got to see what he needs to evolve. I already was told you need to make 63s. The 500 points should be somewhat easy, and the make 20 dunks shouldn't be a problem as well. Now, the problem with the threes is he has a 63-point shot. You can see it right here on the screen. I don't even have to go look at his stats. I see it right there. It says when you upgrade him, you get a plus nine on that. So his three-point shot is already terrible. What we will look at, though, is if he has any badges. Does he have any badges? He has two Hall of Fames. He probably doesn't have any shooting badges, but I just wanted to double check. So he does have, like dunking pretty much like stuff that's gonna help you dunk so that shouldn't be a problem he doesn't have any shooting badges i'm honestly gonna take one look to see if he has a shoe just in case i don't know if adding a three-point shoe would help him or if it's even worth it but i'm just gonna take a look because you never know so look i have a plus two three-point shoe for four games why not i have a plus three three-point shoe right here so the cool thing about shoes is at the end of the day i'm gonna quick sell this anyway why not just add it to him for the couple games to see if that extra plus three might help him just a little bit now i need to make a lineup for my boy miles right we gotta make a lineup for him first and i'm gonna tell you what's the best way we're gonna do this so triple threat is probably not the move definitely not the move he's listed as small forward power forward i think power forward is probably the coolest position for him that he'd get open looks but small forward would be the one where he actually just sits behind the three-point line. Unless you know how to five out or four out one in. Unless you know how to do any of that stuff, just play him at the three. Now, this is where it gets interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use guys that have dimers. So, thankfully, I have Magic Johnson. I could run him as center. Terrible position. But, hey, he's there. I have Reggie here. I think he has dimer. I'm pretty positive he does. So that's going to help me out a little bit as well. He actually doesn't, but he has floor general, which does help him out. So that's fine with me. I'll actually use cheaper cards, so no one really is that crazy. Daryl Armstrong has floor general as well. There is that Scott Skiles. I said he has Hall of Fame Dimer. If anyone does not know, Dimer is one of the better badges in the game. It does increase your shot percentage or your shot makes or all that when you give a ball from that player to another player. So having Dimer would help Darius hit more shots for sure. Now, one option you have is to go into a domination game i'm gonna be honest with you if you are still on regular domination you can play it on all-star difficulty and darius will hit threes i'm just gonna let you know that right now i would just use him on all-star difficulty you need to use him a certain amount of games anyway you need to score 500 points anyway so no rush to hit the threes even if you're only getting two to three threes a game that's perfectly fine if you're really really in a rush you would probably want to go rookie difficulty or pro personally I'm not doing either. I don't like wasting my time playing games I don't need to do. I told you guys this. If I was still on Dom, I would use him on All-Star difficulty. I know that he could still hit there. But me personally, I want to knock two birds with one stone. I keep telling you guys this. Time is valuable. So at the end of the day, I'm going to go into a challenge in which I can gain something from. So challenges are on a lower difficulty. You see here, we got a rookie challenge. How long is this? Three minutes rookie. Is it a full game? I think it actually is a full game. So I'm going to play a full game, three minutes rookie, right? And then we'll take a look at the next challenge after that. So you guys know my Darius Mile has a 62 three-pointer. It's higher than yours. And he has Magic Johnson who has a diamond. Now I can start setting some plays between Darius and Magic, right? I could try to get him to the three-point line so I could just catch and shoot. The thing is, he doesn't even have catch and shoot. So it's not really going to help me. So me just spotting up and trying to take my time could work too. So I like to set pick and rolls, try to give him some space. His jump shot's not bad. I know it's not hitting, but that's just because of the overall. Now, what we do got to remember is that the corner is the easiest shot in the game. Of course, I'm playing terrible because I'm recording a video. But remember, the corner shot is the easiest shot in basketball. If you don't know that, now you know. And the reason being, it's the shortest distance from the three-point line to the hoop. So the corner actually is shorter than from here. So it's like hitting a mid-range with a line in front of you, basically. So honestly, this challenge isn't going to be that easy. Having magic at center isn't going to help me out. But look at that green release. You just got to time your release a little bit. 
and we're actually going to talk about releases soon there is a way to be able to shoot better but i don't know if you guys are gonna like it we'll definitely have a conversation about that moving forward but right now all we're doing in these challenges is one thing and one thing only and that's chucking threes we don't have to pass the ball to anybody we don't have to worry about missing we don't have to worry about anything you're gonna take as many shots as you can i would actually should have used the big man because a big man would have actually helped me a little more setting the screens so forget about magic i actually only got magic for triple threat he's actually very helpful in triple threat he's not that helpful in regular games and basically all i'm gonna do is honestly just chuck it's just lower difficulty I should get off a couple threes a game. Whether they go in or not is perfectly fine. There's a very good explanation for why I do my challenges here. I'm going to show you guys after this game for sure. Woo hoo hoo! Green up, big fella. Give him the ball. I don't care if people are in his face, man. He's hitting. It's pro difficulty or rookie difficulty or whatever the case is. He hitting. Honestly, my favorite thing about these challenges is they go by really, really fast. That was a two instead of a three. Oh, they counted it as a three. Let's go. I was going to say it doesn't even matter because he needs 500 points anyway. So whatever happens, if some of them are twos, that's perfectly fine. I already see I got five threes in four minutes and I started off the game sluggish. I'm just chucking at this point. I'm just chucking at this point, guys. We chucking, chucking. Run two bigs and really chuck. I'm just telling y'all that now. Run two bigs and chuck, chuck. Like, chuck, chuck, chuck. Like, I'm talking close your eyes and let it fly, chuck, bro. That's what I'm talking about. He hit seven threes in less than five and a half minutes. Five and a half minutes. And the best part about it is i'm chilling right now this is not boring to me at all you're not playing a full-length game of domination that actually counts for absolutely nothing and what i mean by it doesn't count for anything is basically if you don't three-star a domination team you're really playing it for no reason so playing domination games on rookie are kind of pointless so me personally if i'm ever trying to evolve a card ever like if i'm ever just trying to evolve a card man i'm doing it on either triple threat or on a challenge where i know at least the challenge is going to count for something. Maybe not right now. I'll get a little extra MT. It'll say that I did the challenge. So that's a plus. And what actually ends up happening when you do a bunch of challenges is what? You actually get tokens. So that's pretty cool. And then I think that by the end of the year, we should be getting a reward for doing these. Like we should be getting a reward for doing all the challenges. They usually do reward us. And I have nine threes right now. Nine threes right now. This is beautiful. And I'm not even playing well, like I said. I don't have centers setting me screens like that. I'm just chucking. So imagine you know how to set plays. Imagine you set a three-point play for him. You could design plays for him to try to get him in the corner. You could definitely do that. A little flare screen where he gets the off-ball screen so he doesn't even get doubled like that. Or you could just come up and go like that like me. That's what I do. I don't care that I miss. I'm still hitting him. They still going in. We hitting a good percentage. We're going to win the game. So I'm happy regardless. And that's all I got to say, guys. This is the main method. I'm still going to show you guys one thing after we finish to tell you why this is the best place to do it, in my opinion, by far. But if you guys think this is helpful or you know it's going to help you for sure, I do need you guys to do me that one quick favor. You already know what it is. If I hit this, y'all got to do it right now, all right? I'm going to hit that in Aiden's face. Imagine, imagine. So if I hit the next shot, I'm going to pull up from deep, all right? I'm going from deep. If I hit the next shot, what you guys got to do is you got to comment that you love me, all right? If I miss this shot, you guys got to subscribe and like this video, all right? Deal? Deal. Sounds good. Bang. Bang outside. Bang. Bang. Oh, man. I think that means you guys got to hit that sub button and y'all got to like the video. That sucks. Oh, man. Unfortunately, you're not going to love me. But it is what it is. I'm going to live with that. Can I give him his first dunk? Can you give him that dunk right there? Oh, he's not going to dunk it. So I actually decided since I have some other cards I need to evolve, I'm going to use them as well. Just, just to do it, you know? Like, I got Wade right here. Wade needs some more points to get to Amethyst. So you can, like, separate the challenge, you know? Armstrong is trying to get evolved. He's going to score a little bit too. That way, like I said, you're not bored and you're still doing something and you're still evolving your card. So here's what I'm talking about. I got MT for the game itself. I just got MT for the challenge. I'm going to play the next one, which is a pro difficulty, four minute quarters. So the games are never full games. That's one, meaning they're shorter than domination. They're actually on pretty much the same difficulty. Pro is a little higher, but at the end of the day, not that much higher. You're going to get MT for them. 
you're gonna keep playing these at the end you get six tokens for completing the weekly challenges so every week you could evolve a player basically through this method that's what i would be doing i'm gonna keep playing these that's how i personally would do it i'm not gonna show you guys another game but let's go take a look at his evolution stats so just like that three minute quarters think about it 12 minute game i wasn't just scoring with him i wasn't even playing well he had 34 points, 9 threes, and I actually did not realize that he didn't have to play a certain amount of games. I thought he had to play a certain amount of games, and that's why I was saying you could take your time. But since you don't, if you really, really, really wanted to play rookie domination, you can. I'm sure you'd score like 70, 80 points, maybe a little more, maybe, depending on how you play and how engaged you're going to be. Me personally, I don't have the mental capacity to play a game knowing i'm playing it for no reason but to evolve a card i told you guys this i don't have that capacity after i chuck my threes doing those weekly challenges on pro and rookie difficulty and that stuff what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go play triple threat for the rest of the dunks if i don't have them yet and basically whatever points i have left that's what i'm gonna do it on and honestly this card this card is pretty good i know last year the darius miles we had was one of like the coolest cheesiest cards he could dunk he could shoot threes the release is pretty much the same so if you were good with his release last year i think you're going to be good with it this year it's a good release his three point rating is just really bad so have a coach that actually increases your three that would be also a plus i actually completely forgot about that to be honest i forgot to check what coach i was using and i'm using nick nurse so i don't know if nick actually adds anything to his three he actually does not so if I wanted to be smart, I would use like Mike D'Antoni. Mike D'Antoni gives him a plus 4-3, which definitely would have helped him. It would have bumped us up to an original 64 plus his shoe. That's a 66. There are a lot of other coaches that do add three as well. So keep that in mind. I know actually Terry Scott's probably adds three. Yeah, he has a plus four. It says he adds plus four twice. I've seen this glitch. I'm pretty positive he does not. There's no way he adds a plus 8-3. There's just no way because that's like on almost every player and I'm not buying that. You guys can buy into whatever you want to buy. Um, I'm pretty sure Terry's not that expensive. I don't know prices for coaches. I'll make you guys a coach video on which coaches add what just so you guys know. But it's pretty much similar to last year. I did make a video on this on what coaches you should be using. There are defensive coaches, offensive coaches. You kind of can have an idea. And yeah, guys, that'll be it for the method for Darius Miles. I'm pretty sure this would be the fastest, most reliable. Not just that, but like most fun or not. I'm trying to think of the word, but most convenient in a sense, only because it's actually productive. So it's a productive method instead of playing domination. Um, I'm telling you, triple threat is not the move. I've seen people trying to do it on triple threat, triple threat offline. They're like, why can't I get threes off? His three just sucks. Like, it's really a bad three-point rating. So play it on a lower difficulty. Screen a lot or learn how to set plays. Four outs, five outs. If we are going to learn plays this year, we will do it together. So I'll make sure to make videos on plays, best freelances, all that good stuff. I will see you guys later. It's been your boy, Mo's Ballin'. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys later. Ballin'.